massive blaze in Northern California. Racing toward three different towns and dozens of buildings have been reduced to ashes already. For some, it's a complete loss and not their first. We got a heck of a view. I guess you'd say we got a heck of a view now, but it's not real pretty. We lost everything we own, personal pictures and everything. And it's like, oh my gosh, nobody should have to go through this twice in a lifetime. Oh, that is so true. Dan Springer's uh, live in Red Bluff, California. You witnessed the fight to save some of these homes. How did it work out? Yeah, Bill, we tend to cover these wildfires in terms of the big numbers, like the numbers of acres burned and the number of personnel fighting the fires and homes burned. Uh, but sometimes this is really just about small battles to try to protect certain numbers of homes. We witnessed that yesterday. You know, we know now that 50 structures have burned on this Ponderosa fire, which is burning east of us here in Red Bluff. We don't know how many of those are homes, but we do know that there is a massive effort to try to protect people's property and put this fire out. We got a close look at a crew from the California Conservation Corps, cut trees and brush to create a large buffer zone around a house. The owners, Chris and Randy Gow, were there for part of the effort, but as the flames got to within less than a mile from their home, they packed up the animals and the other things that couldn't be replaced, and they evacuated to a relative's house in Sacramento. We've been discussing that this isn't really where we want to retire. We don't want to wake up. And there's been more than one occasion where we woke up, the helicopters dropping, retarding on the, on the uh, canyon rim here. And we don't know yet if that home survived, although we did talk to Randy this morning. He has got a text message from a neighbor who stayed through the fight last night, and he was told by that neighbor that his home did survive. We'll go up there later on today and check it out for ourselves. Wow, a sigh of relief for him. In Idaho, meanwhile, because there's all these different fires in places in the American West now that are burning, the governor is fighting to save his home. What do you have on that? Yeah, that's right. Governor Butch Otter of Idaho got a first-hand look at the firefight. He took a helicopter tour over two massive fires that have been burning now for weeks in Idaho. Each has consumed over a hundred, or over um, 140 square miles. These two fires. Now, one of the fires has his vacation home, a cabin that he owns with his wife, in his path. And so he was talking about this great effort of the firefighters and the National Guard now fighting the fires, and he was out there himself before the, uh, the fires got closer, uh, trying to create a more defensive...